What's going on guys? So I had a subscriber request, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, he wanted to see a Godzilla ramp deck, so I thought that was kind of neat, you know? Godzilla's a pretty cool card, so I haven't really done a deck around it, so or really showed it much. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> so go to the deck here. So I made a Zilla vs. Kong deck. So, <laughs> so I'm just kind of a, some uh, little backstory there, right? With the the myth of King Kong and versus Godzilla. I thought that'd be a fun little theme for the deck. So here's our silverback gorilla we've added as Kong. When returned, if you lost the turn, your remaining cards in hand cost minus two energy until played. So it's also going to help us with our ramping. Uh, if we can lose those early turns, start making our cards cheaper, it's going to help us ramp, right? Uh, we also have the feature card, Godzilla. Uh, big 12 energy costing card for 140 power. When returned, this card gains 20 power permanently. So it's just going to get bigger and bigger. So we want to try to get it out as quick as we can. Uh, start taking advantage of it getting as big as it can. So how are we going to play these cards? We, we have... These two big cards. We've got a couple other big cards in the deck, too. We have Black Knight. Uh, when returned, if you were trailing by 100 power or more, gain 150 power next turn. So it's another big... You'll see I added... This is going to be a casual deck, so we have that 7 mana or 7 energy restriction. Um, so it's going to make it very difficult to play a lot of these big cards, so we need to ramp ourselves up quickly. So, again, this is a casual deck, so... We're, gonna, we're trying to make a build that we can have some big, meaty cards in a casual game. Um, so I have a lot of ramp cards, such as King Arthur, played on turn uh, first turn of a round. You're going to get plus four energy for the round, so a nice way to uh, ramp yourself up quickly. Uh, we have Japanese Yen. When drawn, your cards in hand cost minus two until played, so it's going to help us get some of these bigger cards down. We've included MLK. Uh, he's also, if you won the turn, you're going to gain energy, and he's also going to give everything a little 20 buff. We have Plains Zebra. Uh, when returned, gain plus 3 energy regen for the round and plus 10 uh, power. We have Clouded Leopard. He's going to gain plus 4 power uh, and gain 1 energy permanently. So again, looking at that energy is what we want. Uh, Hourglass Dolphin can get a quick plus 8 energy on the draw. Might help us get some of these big meaty cards out of our hand. We've got Mimic Octopus. If you lost the turn, steal 4 energy from your opponent. So again, nice quick burst of 4 energy if we can lose. Very useful. Art Deco. Uh, again, just getting that plus 1 energy. It's going to make itself bigger as it, as it goes. We have Sons of Liberty. When drawn, your cards, wherever they are, cost minus one energy for two turns. Again, just debuffing our expensive cards. Or not debuff, but making them cheaper so we can uh, get them out more efficiently and try to ramp up. So this deck's probably not going to win typically round one or two. It wants to go late game. We're trying to get to rounds four and five. So because we're trying to get to rounds four and five, I've also included Charles Dickens. Uh, it's going to give us that extra boost in rounds four and five. Um, your cards gain plus 35 permanently, so nice quick boost. I've also included Hell because I expect to lose one or one or possibly two rounds. Uh, if you can lose two rounds this game, your cards in hand gain plus 55 this turn. So nice late game. Just put me over the top to try to win the final, final round if I can get to the finals. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Bonnie and Clyde, just a nice beefy card. When drawn, all cards in your opponent's hand lose 4 power permanently. This card gains plus 20 permanently. Repeat if you are losing the round. So, uh, I'm just again, just a nice meaty card here. Uh, eight, 8 energy just gets, you know, up to 96 right out the gate. So, it can get pretty big. Obviously, we've included Dark Web because we have several cards over that 50 base power. This card's going to buff everything. Uh, up to a maximum of 25 if our opponent has some big meaty cards in his deck as well. Um, what else? We've included Ghost, obviously, for the energy gain. Heaven's Gate, just another big meat card. 
costs 11 energy. Uh, when it returns, this card uh, costs minus four energy permanently. So it is gonna get cheaper, but trying to get it out that first turn is gonna be painful. But again, that's what we're doing. We're, we're trying to get some big cards in this deck and just try to ramp up as quick as we can. So that's the deck. Let's, uh, let's go see how she does. We're gonna go casual. Play our Zilla, Godzilla versus King Kong deck here. Let's see who wins. You guys think Zilla's gonna win or Kong? I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, as always, good time to say if you guys enjoy these co this content, this type these types of videos, uh, please subscribe. Uh, shoot me a like. Uh, comments are always nice. I like to see you guys, you know, interacting with me and you know challenging me to make different types of decks. You know, it keeps me keeps me entertained keeps me wanting to keep making videos for you guys as you guys you know toss out deck ideas or cards you want to see next but uh all right looks like we found they got an opponent for us so here we go maybe one of these days i think we're caught in a circle here unexpected error what is going on here I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait, but Ugh, this is awkward. Well, guys, I don't know what to do now. Do I just reset this? Yep, I'll just reset and try again. Sorry about that. Hopefully uh, you guys didn't just uh, quit watching the video because of that. Because I don't edit. I just, uh, well, I do trim the front and the back just so you guys don't see me logging in and everything. But um, we just go through, man. I don't, I'm not trying to hide anything or change anything. So again, sorry for that. Hopefully we can uh, get an opponent this time. There we go. All right. All right, so we got a nice uh, Sons of Liberty debuff there. So you see, you see all our cards are a little cheaper now, which is great for us. I want to get Zebra down now, I think. Take advantage of this for the whole round. Opponent coming out the gate strong. Swinging for the fences. Since we're just losing, I might just go ahead and throw this round in general. Just try to work on building my energy up. So I want to get Dark Web back. <clears throat> well. Yeah. Let's play, play it with Martin Luther King. Hopefully we can get the buff here. There we go. I was thinking about playing Ghost, but I didn't think we were going to lose that. So I was like, eh, let's wait and see if we can uh, play Ghost by itself here. Unless we think we can win this now that we got the Hourglass Dolphin buff. We might be able to, actually. Let's see, played two cards. We go Bonnie and Clyde. Because we are losing the round, so... It's going to get a nice buff, and then we could go Godzilla. Yeah, let's see if we can win this. Nice. So we stole the round. Nice big power swing. We're going to get Godzilla back in our deck too bigger, which is nice. Our opponent's now gaining energy. Trying to ramp his, himself up as well. Two can play that. <laughs> Let's get our ramp on. I 
There's our Japanese yen. It's going to discount us. Nice. Want to get it back in my deck so I can keep getting that nice discount. Let's get the Liberty back in as well. Do it like this. So if we lose, we can steal. Yep, there we go. Good turn from him. It's like you play good turn, we steal your energy. Thank you very much. Come again. Thank you, come again. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to go for another ramp turn. So let's do both of these. Just trying to get that energy up as quick as I can. Want to have a ton going into the final rounds. Ooh, good turn from our opponent there. Ah, I think we just missed our Black Knight trigger. It's really banking on that plus 150 next turn. Maybe should have just played it by itself. Alright, there's another Dark Web buff. That's always nice. Let's get our turn one cards down here. We have lost two rounds, so we can play Hell. Now we're going to start hitting hard. Between Hell and Charles Dickens, this is going to get ugly real quick. There's a uh, God's... We might, maybe we save that for next, next turn? We're already sitting pretty good. I don't think he's going to catch up and win this, this round. So, yeah, I think it'd be fine. Maybe we save both those cards for a nice big swing and start on the next turn. There we go. Nice uh, reduction for us as well. Alright, looks like this round's in the bag. We're going to be a lot of energy going into the start of the last round here. Look at our energy right now. It's 19, so 32 into the, into the next round. That's pretty nuts. Oh, maybe not. I forgot uh, we had King Arthur on, online, didn't we? So 25. But still... We should be able to play just about anything we want now. We just got our Charles Dickens trigger. You can see these cards now are huge. Nice 665 power turn. I'll take that. Don't think he's going to be able to come back from that. That should be game. So like I said, we just we want to use this deck to get late as late game like this and just outpower our opponent with these raw these cards that are just too big for him to handle okay 
Christmas Carol wouldn't have been too bad in our deck actually either. With all the debuff or making everything cheaper. Alright, let's just go from uh, what's our max we can put down here? Looks like 149 is one of the biggest. And then what, 127? Alright, there we go. That's gonna do it. It's just straight outpowered our opponent there. All right, let's do one more. Let's see if we can make our Godzilla even bigger. It's the test. How big can Zilla get? Bigger than Kong, you say? I think so. All right, looks like we got our Sons of Liberty trigger right out the gate again. Also got Silverback, Mr. King Kong. Maybe we go for the, the loss here on this turn and get our discount. Yeah, let's try it. Ah, ended up beating him. You just can't give losses away, I swear. All right, looks like we got our trigger on our MLK, and he did not. Good for us. All right, we got a pretty good lead here. I might just be able to throw back a card. I'm kind of thinking Sons of Liberty, just toss it back. Worked out too, so his ghost isn't going to get the plus two. So that's good. Need to get some more energy gaining cards in my hand. We're going to get this King Arthur down now. Take advantage of that. Ooh, lovers. It's going to be some good power for him. There we go. There's our energy cards. Going into round three here. There's our Japanese yen. Going to discount everything. Nice. Opponent's got a little Halloween deck going on. Plague Doctor, doctor going to hit us with the minus 100. All right, we're holding the lead, but barely. Get K 
King Kong out there. All right, looks like we got round three. Just missed our King Kong trigger, too, unfortunately. Beat him by, like, eight, I think it was. Well, he's playing three cards, so let's reassess this. See if I can get that Black Knight online. There we go. It's going to give me more energy now, too. So I figured I'd take advantage of that. Let's play these big cards so they don't burn away. There we go. Back in the lead. All right, I think we go for the win here. Let's see, let's do it like this. I guess that's going to do it, I think. Yep. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the content, enjoyed the video, please, again, subscribe, shoot me a like, a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think the deck did pretty well. I mean, it was definitely a fun deck. I like playing big fatties. Uh, makes it makes it a lot of fun. So uh, definitely check it out. Try it out if you guys, if you guys enjoyed the video. But uh, again, thanks for watching.